Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Space Expedition. Today we are starting in winter for a change and I have gathered enough shell skates to upgrade my armor to 8 armor points. And since there are still 2 days left in the season, or 3 days actually, I decided let's do some relatively simple exploration for the start. My first goal is this asteroid behind me, because in the April 1st update there was something that made its way into an area right there. So let's fly over there and find those ruins. There it is. Let's land safely here and equip the shield. Because relatively safe still means very, very dangerous in this season. Especially with those things everywhere and these things. Any more in the sprites? No, good. So, where's my grappling hook? Let's grab that one. Still quite useful even when you have the elytra. So this is the big part. Let's do that last. First I want to show off the more dangerous part apparently because there is lots and lots of tiny little mobs. Fortunately they're easy to, enough to kill. Oh, come on. Here we go. Ah! Ow. Thank you, shield. Ever helpful. What would I do without you? Oh, chitin. I'll take that. So, originally, there was a tripwire here. No idea why, why it's gone. Not that it does anything, because these dispensers are empty. There were probably lots and lots of mobs that have tripped them over the years, so there is nothing left. There is also skulls throughout the area. And was there anything inside here? A chest with some creature cabal. This is the new item that has been added, and with this you can practically tame mobs. second part of this rune is right up here. And I don't remember, was there no way in? Yes. Let's try not to die here. Wonderful. Ooh, that's a trap if I ever saw one. Oh my god. I didn't expect that. Uh, I can try to fix this in part, but not really. Is there anything? No. I can't fix it, I'm sorry. It's broken forever. Anyway. This is the second part of the treasure. This doesn't matter too much. It's nice, but well, this is the real thing. This is not yet... Uh, the, the enchantments of this are not yet visible. But, ow! <sighs> wow. You guys pack a punch. And I want to kill you. Yes, let me kill you. Ow. Oh, oh. Thank you. I think I need to stop by my ship next to you up a little. Uh 
this is okay for now. So I've got everything I need from here. Let's leave this place. All right, let's see what this jungle bow has to offer. Power 6 is pretty nice. Infinity and mending, which is impossible to get in 1.11 vanilla. So, this is pretty much my new main bow. Now let's capture ourselves a creeper. Or... There we go. It's eaten the kibble. It loves us now. I can stand right next to it and it doesn't care. So, let's... Hey! This is your this is your new home. Please sir, step back. <sighs> you don't care, do you? Alright. I can just do that <sighs> Damn it. It's arrived. Yeah, that wasn't my strongest day. Uh I would like you to stay right here, please. Thank you. No, 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 no. Not again. Not again. Phew. So, unfortunately, us having one creeper pet doesn't mean that all the other creepers love us too. Uh, so, for the simple reason that I'm not entirely sure if the vanilla creatures will despawn naturally, I decided to give this guy a name. There you are. Now you'll be my friend forever. So, with spring almost... Here, I decided that I finally probably should show off something I found ages ago beneath my base, but there was always something more urgent that needed showing off. I found a little lake here, an underground lake. And I know that in this lake, there are some very, very interesting items. So let's see. For a thousand more ticks. Let's do it. Now where's the boss? Where is he? Down there he is. Can I kill him with a bow, with a bow from here? Hmm? Yeah! Perfect. No risk, no fun. Let's do it. Here we go. Sponges, power core. And let's go back up before I drag. Hey, buddy. So, there is nothing too interesting right here. There is a little room over there. I'm not sure if there are any plans for that in the future, but as of now, there is nothing too special in there. Which is why I am hey buddy, going to... No, actually, let's 
There's some blocks here first, so that I, that I can immediately come back down. Because I know that even after placing this water, I will need more. Alright, this is the flooded library. No. There is a chest right here. Ugh. Some books. Unbreaking. A dragon bone. Once I get five of these, I can upgrade my armor a little bit more. And with five more, I can max out my armor to ten. Shell scale. And a neon tome. I'm not sure how many I have right now. Can I see how many I have? Uh, four. Okay, one more. That's totally fine. There is another chest over here. And there is tome number four or five. Visit the holodeck. Yep, I'll do that once I leave this area here. Alright, a mending book, a guardian to kill, so now let's explore these caves. I'm not gonna pick up any of the ores, guess I've got the inventory space. Breathe. So, I think we've been here. Yes, there was that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turning around too fast. More breathing space. More guardians, which means that there's probably another spawner nearby here. Hey, where'd you go? There. Come back! I want you to die. Thank you. More emeralds. Let's eat. I'm gonna forget that.
and writers. Where are the spawners? Yeah, there is definitely spawn nearby here. So I know that I missed at least one dispenser. Where is it? Hmm. Alright. I've looked everywhere several times. And I'm pretty sure that the tome was in this area here. Namely, in that dispenser up there. Which I picked up. But which never dropped the item I was looking for. Which is pretty weird. If it did somehow glitch through the ceiling, item elevator style, it's probably lost by now because I've been swimming around for over five minutes. And if that's not what happened, then I have no idea what did happen there. So now, the way I came in is not the way most of you would probably come in. The way most people would probably stumble upon this cave if they are not digging in this area is by flying. And once I've killed these guys, I'm going to show you where you can find this area, what to watch out for. And there is this cave entrance here that you can see from the outside. Ooh, squid head skull. And you can see it from up here by the sea lanterns and the, this big waterfall. So, now that I have gathered five books, my biosuit has starting, started translating the books. With the exception of this one, this one is, as of the time of this recording, still bugged. But hopefully that will be fixed soon. The other four books that I've found so far... Pause the video as usual if you want to read it yourself. The first book... Tome number three is about the observation station and they've discovered some asteroids. So basically in the later game, once these areas have all been included in the game, you can just roughly get an idea where to fly 
And this large asteroid of clay and red, red sand is already in the game. So they have been observing the area and you can get hints as to the surroundings. This tome, number 10, describes the zombie apocalypse in this system. And they have tried to find a cure, they have failed. And in the end, the Endermen who have been writing this uh, were forced to go back to the end and study the virus that has killed everyone here over there in a safe environment. This is a pretty short book. This is just a record of the amount of riches that they have found in the Mesa area. And this is from the bunker. And they have heard about the zombie virus that has broken out. They've tried to hide in their own little home, cut off from everything that could infect them. We're waiting for good news, and eventually they died because the good news never came. So this is basically a chest full of lore, and some of the books will also contain some hints as to what you can do to solve some puzzles and stuff like that. So, let's get rid of these of the particles. I think this is a good place as any to stop the episode in the middle of the rain. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you next time. Bye!